Walking past their monkeys may have been the scariest thing ever. I'm still not used to monkeys. But good morning to Dharamshala. I am up in the northwest of India and it is actually a good morning, which I am happy about because if you watched my video before this, you'll know that I was in Amritsar and I got food poisoning. And you know what? It's a week later and I'm still not better, which is slightly concerning. Um, but I am feeling a lot better in myself but if there is ever a place to be ill and feeling sorry for yourself this is pretty much it so I'm actually staying in McLeod Ganj um, now Dharamshala this really confused me when I was like researching places so I'm going to clear this up for now if you are coming here so Dharamshala is kind of like the area and Dharamshala is also a town but up here as well there is also McLeod Ganj there's Dharamkot and then there's also Bagsu and they make up the Dharamshala area so this morning I got up and went to the Tashita meditation temple because they do meditation every morning all the way there and it wasn't even on but I'm really glad I got to see it and I'm going to try and come back on Monday there's like a huge Buddhist influence because this is actually the home of the Dalai Lama now and also the Tibetan council so there's a huge Tibetan influence I'm really enjoying like seeing Buddhist monks everywhere and, and I mean that along with the mountains here is just absolutely incredible I'll show you a bit more around the area because because this is like a must visit place on your trip to India for sure. Everywhere. It's pretty quiet around here at the moment, I guess because of the time of year, um, which I will touch on as well. So right now it is the middle of November and it is pretty chilly, especially at night in the morning. Obviously this morning I had my hat on my coat, um, but now the sun's out, it's pretty warm. Definitely not that warm, but I have had to definitely layer up with like pretty much all of my clothes um, whilst I've been here, especially because I have been ill. But November is definitely a good time to visit here. December, January, February, it will be very, very cold, um, but I've heard the springtime is good as well although they do also get monsoon weather in the summer so just keep that in mind right now i am in upper bagsu i believe i didn't actually plan to come this way um, but whilst i'm here i'm going to check it out it's really really good to see like more of the area lots of yoga being offered um, i really haven't had a chance to do much since i've been here like i said i'm going to come back so um, yeah i'm just planning out what i can do next time and yeah it's been a really nice morning so far <music> So I didn't actually plan to see Bagsu Falls today, but seeing as I ended up in Bagsu, I figured that I might as well. And I can already see the falls right now, so it's a bit of a steep climb, so I'm gonna try and go like as far as I can. Um, but yeah, it's also really busy here. It's really crazy. This is like the busiest I've seen this area. A lot of people like asking for selfies, which just annoys the fuck out of me. But I also just bumped into a girl that I met in Jaipur that was in my hostel dorm. I didn't even know she was here. So it just proves that India it's very very big but it's actually really small and you do bump into a lot of people that you have seen before when you're traveling which is really really nice <laughs> Well, that was okay, nothing overly remarkable. Um, but right now, I think I'm going to go back down into McLeod Gange, and so I will see you down there. This is the room and a nice little seating area here. And then all of the rooms have a balcony. And the reason that my room is the budget room is because of this slightly restricted view. But this is still a pretty good view, I think. And then up here is the yoga studio. And look at this view. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> he knows I'm in here. Oh my gosh, I am so glad I captured that on camera. I was literally lying on my bed and I saw the first one. Now the dog's barking at them. I was like, quick, get my camera. But yeah, the monkeys just walk across the balcony like every day, a few times a day. I'm so glad I got that on camera. I've been wanting to get it on camera all week. So yeah, lots of monkeys. Good morning. So I didn't really do much yesterday afternoon, so I just decided to stop filming. I did go for dinner in town to Jimmy's Italian Kitchen, because um, I'd read online they did really good pizza and I was just craving pizza. You know, when you've been ill and all you want is just like that food that you've been craving and it was very good pizza, so I would recommend it. Um, and I've woken up this morning and I'm also starving, so I'm hoping this means that my appetite is back and I feel good still. Um, so I'm gonna go and get some breakfast upstairs in the cafe here and then I'm gonna to go to the Dalai Lama temple go to the Tibet Museum and just see whatever else takes my fancy so let's go and have a good day And I went to the Museum of Tibet and wow, that was just absolutely shocking. Like, I knew it was gonna be emotional because I knew it wasn't a good history, but I didn't really know much about it. Um, if you wanna know more, then definitely look it up. And obviously if you come here, then you have to go. To be honest, like, I did know Tibet was its own country, um, but I didn't, I don't know, did I know? I don't know, but it did used to be its own country. Obviously it had its own flag, everything. And then China invaded in 1949. And since then, a million Tibetans have been killed and Tibetans are still fleeing now. And China basically occupied that area of Tibet. And Tibet is huge as well. I didn't realize, they said it's like two thirds of the size of India. Um, did not know that either. And what's also really sad, I mean, it sounds quite silly, but like even on the emoji flags, on the foot on the iPhone like there isn't a Tibetan flag which is just really really bad it just shows that it's like not even considered or wasn't even considered and even now um, China are basically trying to like eradicate the Tibetan culture um, so there's hardly any religious sites left like they've just got nothing and yeah it was just it was just so crazy it was really really shocking like I literally could have just like burst into tears inside there it's really really sad definitely given me a different outlook and that is why we travel to learn these things and to learn what a horrible world it is um, but it is also a good world at some time um, but right now I am going to a cafe it is called Illiterate and it is super super cool like it is really really awesome <laughs> Well, it is the end of the day now and it is the end of the vlog. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have found this useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And like I said, I pretty much think that I'm gonna be back here next spring, which I'm really excited about. It's such a nice place. It's not obviously like totally calm, like it is still India, um, but it's a lot calmer than anywhere I've experienced in India before. And it's just so unique as well. So yeah, I really do hope that I can come back here and I really hope that you come here too. Um, also, if you've liked this, make sure to subscribe for more travel videos. I've got a lot longer in India, so there's a lot more videos coming up. And right now I'm about to do yoga in this studio with this view.